Hey, it's Pete here, and I'm back for a challenge accepted. Uh, Frank O, or Frank Lin from uh, the US, a former US junior player, decided to uh, challenge me to a, a 12 board Imps BBO match. Uh, so where I'm playing with three robots, he gets to play with three robots, and we get to see who can do better. Anyway, we'll jump right in and see what comes up with these hands. Okay, so pass one diamond, and I have... 15 points and a 7 card club suit. Well, there's a pretty interesting one to start with. Um, hmm. So, I, like, options I have. I could double and bid clubs. I could just bid two clubs. I could, like, what do I need from my partner to make game? I don't need that much because I've got the 7 card club suit. But if they've got say a diamond stopper I also need them to have something else now if I double and the auction escalates I might not get it, my clubs in properly so I feel like I'm just going to get in and bid two clubs to start off but I think all the options are pretty reasonable and I'll just compete for three clubs I don't think I'm going to try and get to a game here not to say that a game couldn't make um, but here game can't make uh, three clubs doesn't look like it'll make either uh, I have two heart losers, two spade losers, and a diamond. And yeah, not not a lot I can do about it. Um, I'll just win. I'll draw trumps. Okay, diamond discard. So west might be a triple four one. Ah uh, no, because east only has four hearts. So west has five hearts, four spades, probably. Five, four, three, one, maybe. Uh, east, yeah. Now, uh, we'll exit with a heart. Basically, I want to see if I can get East to open up diamonds for me. If West opens up diamonds, at least I've got play still. Um, so spade, spade. Expect a diamond. Yeah. So there's the diamond, and all right. So, options here, I could play West for the King of Diamonds, which I think is negligible. I could play Spades to be 3-3. Three, three. I could fly Ace of, Sp Ace of Diamonds and rough a Spade and try and cross to the Jack of Clubs. I think that's poor odds, but probably better than West opening up Diamonds from the King. Um, so, I am going to try and do that. I don't think it's going to work, but... Uh, So just give up a heart. There's a chance that they might make a mistake here rather than just conceding. But uh, diamond and east gets the king. And down one. So I think that'll be a fine start. I don't think anything our way can be made. In fact, I think the opponents are pretty close to making four hearts. Um, so let's just have a quick squeeze at the hands. I, they have sort of two diamonds and a club to lose. Uh... But besides that, I think four hearts is pretty good. Now, I'm just basically down one no matter what. So overall, 50, I think that's a uh, good score there. Not sure if I'm going to win any imps on it, because uh, Frank might do the same thing, but uh, let's see. Board number two. Two, four, five, two, 14 count. This is a pretty good 14, so I don't mind upgrading this into a no trump. This is a very two-suited hand. I've got small doubletons both ways. Both times. Small spades, small clubs. Uh, if I open a diamond and my partner bids a spade, do I really want to rebid one no trump? Like, I think this hand's worth 15 to 17. So I'm going to bid a no trump, but I am a bit skeptical about this one because my suits are so good, but uh, we'll give it a shot. I think this will produce a swing. Anyway, uh, two spades, three no. Okay, so 10 points in the north hand. Okay, and they've led a club. And I've got four hearts, a club is five, and three diamonds is eight. I could try ducking a club, but I don't think that'll really actually help because it is possible that they win and switch to a spade and get four spades in a club. So I'm actually going to win this. If diamonds are 3-3, three, three, I am good. Diamonds are 4 2, I'm down. Maybe I should cash my hearts first. Um, 
Let's say I do duck clubs and give them the chance to possibly beat me. Does that give me any upshot on other times? Not really. So... If I duck a club, they might switch and not cash everything. If I got, like... <sighs> hmm. Feels like if I duck a club, it does give the robots more chance to go wrong, but, like, I am technically possibly going down. And I certainly can't duck two clubs, so... Uh, I will win, and I will just cash four rounds of hearts. Um, basically giving them a chance to make an error and throw a diamond. Um, that's basically what I'm hoping for here. Spade discard and spade discard. Okay, so how do the diamonds break? Please be good to me. Hooray! Yeah, success. All right, so I'm expecting a game, possibly a game swing in, in, in here. I did take the aggressive approach and it paid off this time. Vulnerable, happy to get there. Okay, 6.30. So, um, that seems like a pretty good score. Spades were, if West had another spade, say King Doubleton, and I ducked the club, East could play a spade to the King of the Spade. So that's why I can't afford to duck that spade. But, overall, 3-0. Like, yeah, it worked. So, what will happen in the other room? Maybe a diamond or spade. What do you do? Do you just bid a no trump? And then this north hand probably won't move to three no trumps. So hopefully a game swing. I did take the pushy action there. Uh, but yeah. Board number three. Um, one spade opening. I have 14 highs. Wow. One spade, two hearts, double for takeout. They are in so much trouble. Well, well against not, I like this. King, queen, jack, fourth. So I'm hoping for two hearts, two diamonds. I'm going to take the aggressive approach and just... Switch this out. Okay, low spade lead. So my partner has both minors. So West has four spades as well. Uh, so West might be something like a four, six, something, two, one, or a four, five, two, two, or things like that. Anyway, uh, low spade. Ace of clubs. Diamond to me. Okay, so I'll let that score. And they switch to a heart. No rush to try and cash my diamonds here, so put them in with a spade. Diamond, and they rough. Ace of hearts. Okay, so my partner followed to a second one with the 10. So it looks like 4, 6, 2, 1. No, 4, 5. Okay, so four spades, five hearts. Um, so I'll cash that. And I think I'm going to get end played here because I didn't throw my diamond away. Queen of spades and club. Okay, phew, down one. Ah, they were 4, 5, 3, 1. Yeah, so kind of miscounted that. Felt like we might have been able to do better than that. Yeah, can get down two. So where did I go wrong? So spade lead and they won. Ace of clubs, nice cash by them. And a low diamond. And when my partner popped a queen there, I think that is where part of the error was. But anyway, um, means I can't really get back to their hand. But they switched to a heart. And at that stage, down one is the best we could do. So, uh, we could have beaten at two. Can we make anything? I don't really think so. So, I think passing out two hearts doubled is the best we can do. Whether or not they can get plus 500 out of it, a bit scary. Um, but, yeah, I, I feel like we could have defended this one better. I don't think there's any real need to play trumps from the north hand. Usually, leading trumps is a fantastic idea against double part scores. But this east hand is not roughing anything. 
Um, so trying to organize our minor suit winners, I think, is more important. Anyway, plus 200. Board four. Uh, 17 highs and three card support. So I want to make a game forcing three card raise. So I just have to go through a two over one here. And um, my partner has shown a dead minimum with four spades. So with their four spade bid. So they're five, four. And like this should be really rubbish. Like it says 12 to 14 total points, but I think like, I think it could be like 12 points sort of does this way. So I think my partner's trying to warn me off. So I've got 17 ops at that. If my partner had say ace queen, fifth spade and ace fourth heart, that's a 10 count that can make slam probably. Uh, but I don't think my partner should be jumping to four spades with two and a half key cards and things like that. So I, playing with a real person, I just passed. The robots here, I think I should pass, but there's definite possibilities where we do make slam with this holding because aces and kings are fantastic. Um, but if my partner's got like ace, queen, jack to five spades and queen, jack to four hearts and the queen of clubs, like, do I really want to move on? I think I'll take the low road here, but uh, uh, there's definitely the times I prefer to be playing with a human player. Slam bidding and judgment is not the robot's best thing, and this four spade bid should be like a complete warning to go away. Um, so I'll just pass and see how we go. Okay, so slam is a possibility um, so my partner's got four heart losers and a diamond loser the diamond can go on the club so here I just want to win and play a heart to the king um, but that, that's sort of my best play for 12 tricks if I can rough uh, two hearts um, but the robots might give the show away so no need to pitch the diamond just yet I've still got control okay heart and they win. Diamond. Okay, so I win that and uh, pitch my diamond on the top club and then lead another heart. So West will put in the queen here. Now those hearts are all good. I cannot even afford to. Uh, yeah, so I'll even rough this high. Like, I can afford to rough that high. As long as spades aren't 5-0, we are cooking. Okay, they're 3-2, so making 11. Okay, so I think that might be a fair result. Uh, I don't think I'm going to lose on it. Uh, so, they might make slam tries. If you do make a slam move here, you find you're only off one key card, you'll get to slam on this hand. So, I think it is a potential slam swing, but a bit pushy. Uh, but overall, I think I'm happy with that, and um, yeah, four spades making 11. Probably a flat board, uh, but definite possibilities for picking up there, depending on how aggressive Frank is. Anyway, uh, the third of the way in, and I think we haven't really given any opportunity here for any big losses, so I'm feeling good about this, and let's see how we can uh, progress. Uh, 9, 12 points and a 5 card spade suit. A diamond, a spade, 2 spades, 12 points, vulnerable, and we have a fit, so I'm just going to bid 4 spades. My hand's not a good 12 points, it's like a really rubbish one, but I'm still not going to shy away from a vulnerable game. Okay. So, I have three club losers, I have a heart loser, and I have a couple of spade losers. So, what are my options here? So, I can, I could pitch a club on the third round diamonds. I can win and play a spade to the queen. I could try and knock out a heart and then try and pitch a club from the north hand. These are all very interesting options. So if I play a spade to the queen and catch the ace of spades, that's like my last entry, well not my last entry, but one of my later entries to the north hand. Uh, but if I play a spade to the queen and it loses to the 
east, they might be able to push a club through. I do have the 10 there for protection. But I think if I lead a heart towards the queen first, if west has the ace of hearts, it makes it a lot more difficult for them to uh, attack clubs. So I might start with that. Okay, and another heart. Okay, and they win. Another diamond. Okay, and the queens. All right, so I've now knocked out the jack of diamonds. So I could pitch two clubs, but just for that element of safety, we'll take that club pitch now. So at this stage, I still have three club losers, but I'll be able to rough the third round of them. Uh, but it looks like just pushing a spade towards the queen. Well, okay, so uh, that ruined that plan. So spades are four nil offside. Um, okay, so I'm going down in this contract. So let's take a moment to minimize the damage. Uh, so if I win the ace of spades and... I, I don't see the point in putting on the ace of spades here. Like, I could try and play diamond diamond pitching a club, but I like West has a void avoid uh, spades so looks like ace probably has a dalton diamond so if i win the ace of spades and play the ace of diamonds rough over rough i'm just in the wrong hand here um so let's just put in the queen let them win the king uh low club and i'll try the king another club and they push a spade through in the nine diamond. So, um, pretty much everything leads to two down here. Um, they just get their jack and two down we are. So there, there, okay. So the first potential for loss here is that uh, Frank might not be game with this hand. It is a pretty rubbish twelve count, but with a nine card fit, um, I think just going for four spades is reasonable. And the four zero split uh, sunk me down to uh, two down. Um, I reckon that one will be flat, but uh, we'll see. We will see. Uh, whew, there's a good hand. Uh, nine plus 17 highs and a seven card heart suit. So I'll start with one heart, double two hearts. Are we making a slam? If my partner's got a stiff spade, we're in the market, but I'll just start with a four heart bid. If they bid four spades, I know that my partner's probably got a stiff spade, but other than that, uh, yeah. Okay. Um, right. One heart, double, two hearts, two spades. So I'll be able, I've got two spade losers, a diamond and a club. If trumps aren't three nil, I'll be able to rough my spade loser. Uh, they do have a 10 card diamond fit. Um, but let's just win this and play the king of hearts. If they're three nil, I'll revisit my plan. Okay, but they're not. So um, I'll be able to rough that uh, spade at my leisure. Ooh, Dalton Heart there. So it looks like East is something like a 4 1 6 2. Uh, if they've got Dalton King of Clubs here, I've got a good chance of making lots of tricks here. Get the spade, and they get a diamond. And now I have the rest of the tricks by roughing my spade loser. Okay, so this one should be pretty flat. Uh, with four hearts making four. Okay, plus 420. On to the next one. Uh, 10, 18 highs and a balanced hand. So one club and rebid two no trumps, but it went one heart past two hearts. Uh, so that sort of stuffed up that plan. Uh, so maybe make a take up double, uh, but I think pass is probably just the better option. I don't want to bid two no trumps. I, my partner doesn't really have spades and a decent hand, so 
I'm just going to pass here and buy it, let them have it in two hearts. Uh, it's really easy to get overboard on this hand. If I double and my like, if I double and my partner bids spades, it's because their hand is truly rubbish, and we still won't have game on. If I double and my partner bids diamonds, this hand would have been a nightmare. But it doesn't look like they would have done that. Um, but like, and bidding two no trumps would be crazy. Um, so, spade lead. Um, so what do I have? 10, 18 highs, dummy has 7, so that's 25, 15 missing. My partner swung the 10 of spades at this, so where are we going to get some tricks? We've got one spade, two hearts, and a diamond uh, for five tricks. Now, I could try and play like ace of diamonds, diamond, and if I get my partner in, I might be able to get a diamond rough. But I don't see any great rush to do that, so I'm just going to push a spade back and find out a little bit more about this hand. And I still haven't seen the uh, jack of spades. So there is a chance that my partner could over rough this, uh, but that would give West five spades, which seems unlikely, because uh, they're in Michaels. But uh, I don't think there's any cost to letting them have their spade here. Okay, and my partner gets in with a club. And another club. They got a club rough. So we could have drawn another trump there. I don't know why my partner didn't push a heart, but um, we'll just draw their trumps now. Okay, so my partner didn't draw a trump because they had the jack. So that actually makes a lot of sense. Um, so I should have ducked the heart. I could have done better on this defense. So we've beaten it, but uh, sloppy work all around. Okay, so let's see. I think we can beat this too. Um, so spade lead, and when I'm in with the king, uh, wow, I can't. A uh, low club beats it too now, but let's say I'm not going to do that. But uh, and diamond up. So if I play ace of hearts, heart, and a third heart. I'm just surprised that we don't get um, two club tricks. But, yeah, okay. Oh, wow. Oh, we could have beaten that one. What did I miscount? Oh, two hearts, a spade, and a time. Oh, wow, I can't even count. That's terrible. Um, yeah, so we could have beaten it two. Uh, could have settled for down one. My partner did have four spades, so competing to two spades would have worked. Um, so here I think I've donated five imps away. So first donation. <laughs> wow, couldn't count, couldn't beat the contract. Everything I did was terrible on that hand. No, I don't mind the bidding, but you know. Uh, pass, pass, pass. 15 count, four, two, two, five. This looks like one no trump to me. I opened the last one, one no trump. Uh, some people would open a club with this hand shape. And it's fine because you will get to bid a club and round out your spades. So there's no trouble showing your suits. Uh, but my style is just get in there and bid a no trump. One no, three no. Okay, queen of spades lead. And it looks like we've got five clubs, two hearts and two spades for making nine. Um, I don't want to duck this because they could switch to diamonds. So I'll win that and cash my five clubs. And consider any shenanigans later in the hand, but at imps, I don't think I'm going to do that. But keeping track of what they discard, heart, heart. So West is really getting rid of all their hearts. So West pitched four rounds of hearts. Right on. Um, wow, so West had five hearts to the jack. So East has queen third heart. I really don't think I'm doing anything about this hand, but I could, like, I can play a spade to the king and a heart to the king and try and end play east in hearts. Uh, like, if east has ace, king, third, diamond here, uh, I get a trick. 
Hey, got it. <laughs> got him with the end play. I didn't think that was going to work, but hey, like give yourself like those small chances and occasionally they pay off. So nice little end play for the over trick there. Um, so just work like here I was going to cash out, but working out who I can exit to to possibly end play them. I want to put East on lead because that's the only chance that I can actually make uh, extra tricks. So in cashing out my Ace King of Spades and Ace King of Hearts, work out where I want to be to put East on lead. And I know West has Spades and East has the Queen of Hearts, so keeping that further little exit to them in the ending. So Heart, Spade, and Heart to the King. And then just exiting with a Heart, and East has Ace King third Diamond, and I score a Diamond trick for hopefully one imp in. Um, I think getting to three no trumps will be normal. I don't know whether Frank will open a club or one no trump. I think one club's probably like the normal thing to do, but it's just my way. I like bidding a no trump there. So we'll see. Uh, board number nine. Okay, so I'll just start with one spade. I do have a pretty good hand. I've got 16 highs. Uh, one heart, one spade, two spades, four hearts. All right. Um, so I got 16 highs, but in no way is this worth doubling and then bidding spades. Like if it went one heart, double, three hearts, pass, pass. I didn't, wouldn't really want to bid three spades there. Most of the time I can bid one spade and then make it take out double of two hearts or maybe even three hearts and show that I've got five spades in the other suits. But here they just work their way to four hearts. So my partner has absolutely nothing. Um, and this is an ugly, ugly lead problem. Knowing that my partner's really weak and I have all this stuff in all the suits, I actually don't want to lead away from any of it. And I don't like leading singleton trumps. So, uh, yeah, so I, I just want to like say, your lead partner, go ahead, choose. Um, but because every single suit can give away a trick, I think I might lead a trump. I could consider Ace of Spades, Queen of Spades um, because I don't think I'm ever going to get my partner on lead and as long as East doesn't have the King of Spades it won't cost so half the time it won't cost I don't think I'll be able to get my partner on lead to lead a spade anyway uh, and I feel that if I lead a trump I'll just be delaying this now I think a trump lead was what I was originally going to choose but I think I don't mind Ace of Spades show me that King and Dummy okay so didn't see the king and dummy, and that lead's going to work out terribly. Uh, but still, I might not get my partner on lead. Don't win this heart. Okay. <laughs> if partner just won the heart there, I would have been like, you have got to be kidding me. Um, wow, so... I had one heart... And so one, one, so East has seven hearts. So seven hearts and two, at least two spades. So we've got seven hearts, a spade, a club. They're going to be making this contract. Um, yeah, let's take it. I don't like, I don't think ducking is going to help. Get the club and now they're going to just pitch. Rough. Okay, 650. So. My lead worked out what appeared to be terribly, but did it actually matter? No. Unless I swing the king of clubs at this contract, it does not matter. Um, so here, even in the worst case scenario, because I couldn't ever get my partner on lead, I think it worked out okay. Um, and I think 650 should be okay. Anyway, uh, glad that I didn't go completely overboard bidding anything. Um, I guess four spades could be a decent sacrifice. Uh, we've got two diamond losers, two club losers, a heart loser, 
and I might be able to get to my partner's hand eventually. Um, but I think four hearts by them making 11 is probably the norm. Okay, three boards to go. Uh, 18 points, 3, 1, 4, 5. So just start with a club. One heart, one spade, showing five. So I'll just bid four spades. A king of hearts isn't useful, but otherwise I've got a stiff heart and I'd still bid it, right? Um, and I have a 10 card fit. And I only bid three hearts, four to eight total points. Okay. So this is just about how I play the trump suit. And I think I'm just gonna play a spade to the ace and a spade up, but uh, it's important to rough this heart first because if I play a spade to the ace and a spade and east catches the king jack and then draw plays a heart, I'd go down. So we'll just uh, rough that and play ace of spades and a spade towards the queen. Okay, there goes the king, jack, and I really want to get to the uh, West hand, uh, sorry, the north hand as quickly as possible, so I put up the 10. And West led away from the jack, so that allows me to draw the trump. Um, so yeah, I was worried about the single club. Like, on that diamond lead, if I played low and won here, and played a club over, if West was the person with the uh, third spade, they'd just be able to rough it and hold me to 10. But this way I can uh, make 11 tricks. As it was, they only had... Uh, two spades, so uh, even if I didn't stick in the ten of diamonds, I would have been okay on this hand, but I still think it's better play. Uh, so four spades making eleven. Uh, this will be flat board. Uh, everything I did like the just-in-case methods, uh, nothing went badly. So let's say I didn't rough that heart and played ace of spades spade. Uh, West wins and I still have that chance to rough it later, but it's good to rough that heart first and also when west got in and played a diamond it's good to stick in the ten of diamonds in case you can get back to that north hand straight away okay two boards to go uh 12 highs balanced hand so just one diamond one heart uh the robots like to bit a spade along the way but i usually just rebid a no trump and here i don't want to mention my four little spades so i just bid one no trump Double is penalties. Let's try and compete to two hearts. I've got a good heart suit. Double is... What, what kind of description is that? I've got four or more clubs, four plus spades, so I guess it's takeout, but like... <laughs> Double. I have five or less hearts. Anyway. Uh, yeah, so they made a takeout double. And we're in a 4-3 fit. And, hmm. What to do, what to do. Alright. So off the top I've got three club losers, uh, a few spade losers, and some other stuff. Uh, so it would have looked like bailing out in two clubs would have worked well. Uh, they have picked up the Queen of Diamonds for me. Uh, I could try playing like a heart to the jack, then ace of hearts, king of hearts. If hearts were 3-3 three, three with the queen on side, and diamonds are 3-3, three, three, then I get to make 8 tricks. I think that's a pretty terrible idea. I think it would be going for a lot. Um, however, I don't know of any other good... Like, there's nothing else particularly productive I can do. I could try and give up a club, but they win, they play a diamond. I play a club, they get a diamond rough. Um, I could play a heart to the ace and then give up a club. That's probably a little bit better. Um, but they then might be able to win and play another heart and play another club. So maybe a club first, then cash a heart, and then play a club. I don't know. Uh, that's probably like the best I can sort of manage here. They can get some cross roughing in here, so that can work out pretty poorly. So spade and a diamond. Okay. All right. So it does look like West has a doubleton spade, and they pushed that through. 
Um, hearts could be 4-2, so maybe I can cash the ace king of hearts. Um, I can play a heart to the ace and play for hearts to be 5-1. So if hearts are 5-1, that gives east 4 spades, 1. I think it's probably like more balanced because they didn't bid two clubs directly. I've got a decent hand. What to do? Um, no, nah, we're not finessing that. Uh, so if I play another club here, they could get a diamond rough. Um, but that might be okay anyway. So club and an ace of spades. Ooh, ace doubleton spade and a diamond. Ah, it was queen doubleton. And now they're going to get their spade rough. And another trick. Yeah, so... Ah. Minus 300. Can I make that? So let's say diamond lead, a win, club, spade over, and a diamond. So at this stage, if I play a heart... Let's say I play heart heart, and I, wow, West pass with ten fourth heart. Heart heart. Yeah, maybe I should have drawn that second heart. I, I don't know. Like, do I have enough information? Maybe. Let's say I play two rounds of hearts, and don't see the queen of hearts what do I do then I catch a diamond and that's about like the last trick I get uh, so if I cash two rounds of hearts I really am playing for East to have the queen which I don't think is a good idea when I'm doubled here but overall lose another say five imps there um, the opponents can make clubs so just another five imps on that uh, doubled contract and lucky last, 6-4, six, 7-4. Four, four. Pass, pass, one diamond. Do I want to bid four spades? Do I want to bid one spade? I don't need much from my partner. What's it say that a four spade bid is? Aggressive weak jump over call, seven plus spades. Three plus total points. Well, I think that description's trash at uh, Vol Against Not. But I think I probably want to play four spades nearly all the time. I think I've got one diamond loser and if partner's got any help at all, four spades will be reasonable. Okay, so I think that was a mistake now that I got doubled. So partner does not have any of that helping stuff. Uh, they do have the jack of hearts, which is useful. They've got two spades. Um, anyway, I want to win in the uh, north hand, so I'll just unblock the king. And a win in the north hand again. And lead a spade. East show okay, so East didn't show out, that's good. Heart. Ha ha. Another spade. Club making hooray! <laughs> um yeah, so that was stiff. Um, throwing the King of Diamonds not only preserved the entry, but made it not clear for them uh, who had the singleton. Also, yeah. Whoa, I did not think I was going to be making this for a while. But see, I really didn't need much help from my partner. But that should be a really strong finish there. Anyway, uh, there we go. Um, so that was that. We'll check out what the results were. And I won by uh, 14 imps, so let's just give me a moment to um, uh, 
Okay, so my hands. All right, so what did we do? So, so I won by forty-four to thirty. So, <laughs> right. Um, so the other table did the exact same thing on the first three boards. They doubled two hearts. Uh, we three no making ten, and uh, three clubs. So let's go through. So. Frank also chose two clubs than three clubs. Also chose to open one no trump on this hand. Interesting choice. I wasn't sure if I would win a game swing there. And also chose to pass out two hearts doubled. Uh, got to six spades here. I thought this was a possibility here. And I thought long and hard about this, but then trusted that my partner was trying to tell me that they had absolute garbage for a four spade bid. Um, not that they necessarily do, and not that the robots necessarily do, but uh, with my human partners, I would use that four spade bit as a giant warning bell. So I decided to trust the robot and stay out of it and scored a slam swing there. Uh, the next, Frank uh, went three down in four spades double instead of two down. So I won another three imps here. So let's see how we went. Diamond lead, king of diamonds... Spade to the ace and diamond throwing a club away. So yeah, this was sort of one of the possibilities, but I didn't think that there was a giant rush here. Um, I think playing a heart is better because uh, so if the spade finesse loses, um, a club comes straight back through. Um, if I play a heart, if West wins, I'm fine. And now I don't need spades 2-2 two, two or things like that. Um, so I felt like playing a heart was reasonable here. Also with the 10 third club, I didn't think I was going to lose three clubs straight away. So it wasn't a giant issue. But it, I think there's a reasonable play. Um, but also when West shows out in spades, maybe reevaluating the plan is a good one. Because um, you've got two spades, a heart and a club at least. So I'm tough to choose what you should do there. Anyway, uh... Board six, he made an over trick here. So, one heart, so bid three spades, Q bid. So he was interested in slam here. Um, I figured that uh, I'd need a shortage from my partner, so I was more interested to see if uh, West would just raise spades. Uh, but got to slam, king of spades lead, king of hearts, hearts, club to the queen, diamond over. And another diamond back. So very similar play there. Um, but I think the bidding just uh, changed how the robots decided to cash out there for that one imp. And then uh, this board, um, he did make the takeout double and got the partner to bid two spades, which uh, works well when partner has spades. If partner doesn't have spades, you might get yourself into trouble. But I definitely should have beaten, well... Not definitely, I should have defended better at least. I uh, lost seven imps here. I certainly deserve to lose imps. I don't know whether you should double or not. I think it's close, um, but I really don't want to see partner bid three diamonds or three clubs really. And I think if partner will stretch to try and show spades over this bid, that's what I chose not to bid again. But I thought that was definitely an option. Then board eight, we got to three no again, and he made it as well. Uh, so one no opening again, so queen of spades, clubs, heart to the ten, and they can hold him to just uh, nine tricks here, spade, another heart, and then they came out a low diamond and east flew. So I preferred my line of end playing them. Um, I don't really like the heart to the 10 at imps especially. Um, but I liked the play of just seeing if East had ace king of diamonds. Anyway, uh, board 9. So got to 5 hearts. So they doubled, he doubled 4 hearts. So your partner bid 4 spades. And then they bid 5 hearts over it which is cold, except for the king of clubs lead. So he led a trump. 
And they let a heart diamond up to the king. Rough a diamond. So he ducked it, gave them a lot of pressure there. Uh, heart over, some more hearts. Roughed another one. The ace appeared. Uh, so club to the ace. Queen of diamonds, pitching a club. I think they needed to cash the uh, extra trump before doing this. So if they cash the trump, that'll squeeze uh, Frank here and they can make, still make 11. I think double would be fair, but I know my partner's got sort of no points here and I really don't think I'm beating four hearts. So if partner passes four hearts doubled, I think that would score bad. Um, but yeah. Anyway, uh, board number 10, four hearts doubled. So one club, one heart, one spade, three hearts double. So here, when you know your partner's got a five card suit because they bid one spade over one heart, I just wanted to play in four spades. But they got to four hearts doubled and that only went one off um, for 10 imps to me. So I got my four spades making 11, whereas they got plus 200. Board 11, uh, nine more imps uh, to Frank. So here I was in two hearts north, doubled down two, whereas the other side was in two hearts uh, undoubled making. <laughs> so <laughs> bit of a difference there. Um, so he just rose, raised to two hearts. I think that's completely fine as well. Another respectable bid. Certainly worked out well and had ace, king, jack of hearts. Uh, so definitely fine. Diamond, heart to the jack, king of hearts. Diamond over, 10 of diamonds, heart to the ace, diamond throwing a club away, spade up, they flew ace, they drew the trump, ace threw the wrong thing it seems, and they made <laughs> two tricks. Okay, so, yeah, fair enough. Uh, you got a lot less worries when you're actually doubled in two hearts here. Um, but I, I like the way he played it and yeah anyway final board <laughs> four spades doubled for 1100 whereas I was in four spades doubled making so let's see pass pass a diamond double okay so he was going to double and presumably bid spades but one heart two clubs four hearts you do have a heart fit so that's okay and that got doubled all out. So how do you play it? So spade lead to the ace. Ace of clubs and rough. Spade and they trumped in. And made him rough. Spade and he roughed high. And drawing trumps at this stage. Uh, the main issue is you can't really get back to that south hand too easily. Another heart there. Spade and rough. Didn't over rough. Club, club, and roughed. And a diamond, yeah. Um, so, I don't know. Uh, four down seemed rather punishing, and 18 imps to me on that board. Um, oh, so that, that's a painful way to finish. Um, but anyway, this is like the first challenge I've ever won. Um, and I only won by 14 with picking up 18 on the last board. Uh, I don't mind what, like, getting to four hearts seems reasonable. Um, I thought four spades was a practical bid here. I don't really, like, you might make slam opposite some hands, but I think that's sort of tough to get there. Um, but four spades, like playing in your long suit here with a 7-4 shape usually is pretty sensible anyway. Anyway, uh, that was the challenge. Hope you enjoyed it. And thanks, Frank, for the game. And bad luck on that last board. Some interesting boards there. And, yeah, I, like I think the flat boards were the really interesting ones. Um, but the big swings certainly went away. Anyway, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye for now.